Hello friends, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Srikant and today we will be solving this problem of gemstones which is in the algorithms and strings section. So John has discovered various rocks. Each rock is composed of various elements and each element is represented by a lowercase Latin letter from A to Z. An element can be present multiple times in a rock. An element is called a gem element if it occurs at least once in each of the rocks. Fine. Given the list of n rocks with their composition, display the number of gem elements that exist in these rocks. So here three in the sample input, three rocks are given and their compositions are given below. We have to find all the count of all the gem elements. Okay. So here uh, the gem elements are A which is present in everything, uh, every rock and B which is also present in every rock. So the total number of gem, gem elements are 2. We have to find all such elements and sum it, show it as the count. Okay. So for this, we will first create a variable n and uh, take it as input that is the number of rocks for int i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. We we'll create a vector of strings. And uh, we will call it as rocks of size n. Now we will uh, rocks of i. We will take this as input. Okay, now uh, each rock is there in this vector. Now for each rock. We have to uh, find the all the gem, ele gem elements, right? So for that we'll uh, create a vector of uh, integers of size 26, and that will uh, let's say this as gem, okay? So for all the letters whose count will be greater than equal to uh, uh, no, so we'll approach it in this way. We have created this vector. Now for uh, int i equal to small a i less than z i plus plus if uh, this letter is present in all the rocks then it will be considered a gem element otherwise it is not considered a gem element right so what we will do is we will search for this uh, letter let's say we call this as n the loop counter okay if it is present in all the rocks right for uh, int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus ok uh, we will find uh, if it, uh, it has this letter l ok this rock has this letter l so rocks of i dot find l not equal to string colon colon n if if uh, it is not present in say uh, this rock okay then we have to uh, this is not a gem element if some letter is uh, not present in any of the rocks then it is not a gem element then gem of i is equal to we will better make this as a boolean okay 
false and will break else that letter is uh, present uh, in all the rocks if uh, no condition for no rock this condition is satisfied it means that uh, particular letter is present in all the rocks therefore it is a gem element we will make uh, count as plus plus we will start the count from and uh, we have to uh, make a flag over here flag going to false to make this count if Not uh, if flag, then count plus plus. And before this counting starts, we have to make flag equal to two. We are supposing that this uh, letter may be a gem element. Flag equal to true. And uh, if it is not found in any of the rocks, then we will make the flag as false. Okay, and. Uh, we will count it as uh, otherwise we will count it as uh, a gem element fine if flag is still flag still remains true after the loop okay after this we will print the count okay uh, this seems to be fine try to run this code so this test case has passed so it is always advisable for us uh, to not exceed any functions uh, more than say 15 20 lines so it is better to refactor this code to a new new function which will return us the gem elements count so say int get gem count ok we will put this inside this and we will pass this vector of strings as input rocks ok and uh, this vector can be declared inside this function ok and we will use this function and pass it the rocks cool enough uh, after this we will return this looks more cleaner for yeah let's try to run this test case again ok there is one compilation error here we have to use the size since we are not passing it as an argument n as an argument So the test case has passed successfully. Let's submit the code and see if all the test cases pass. So there is one test case uh, which has some problem.
let's see what this test case is Here we have done one small mistake. Uh, see, it should be less than equal to Z instead of Z. Fine. Again, if we run, now it will give the correct answer. Yeah. So let's now submit this code. cases have passed we missed the less than equal to symbol here okay so in that particular test case only the z was also a game element that's why we missed it hope you like uh, watching this video and uh, do subscribe to my youtube channel for more such videos and uh, if you want to ask a solution for any particular problem do comment on the comment section and yeah thank you very much